coming out to them at such a young age, it really taught me, you know, to be confident and to stand up for who I am and what I love and, and what I deserve through the, through the hardships. It's like being so afraid of heights or something and finally just doing it. I am from San Diego. San Diego, California. I'm from California. I'm from County Clare. Originally born in Ghana, Fort Worth, Texas. I'm from Long Island, New York. I'm from Galway. My name is Kylie. Grant Ireland. My name is Ash. Kadisha Ruth Meyer. What is up, y'all? My name is Carly Bearden. My name is Kylon. Hey, what's up? I'm Lexi. Hi, my name is Eris. My name is Andrew Van Wolp. I am from Arkansas. Coming out was, was hard. <laughs> I just remember like praying to God, being like, why? Just make it go away. We grew up in a very religious and conservative household. So they had these expectations of who I was going to be. At that time, I wasn't comfortable with my sexuality, nor was I really aware of like what I was. And so I remember telling her that I was bi, and she cried, and she was really sad and really hurt. And I remember that hurt me a lot. My mom eventually came around, which was really amazing. And now she is one of the biggest supporters of my sexuality. I asked myself is probably harder than coming out to my family because I was very religious and believed what I had been taught. I came out to a leader in the church before I was comfortable with myself, you know, knew that it was okay to be gay. I remember her just like taking my head and praying the gay out of me and just, I don't know, sitting there feeling like this can't be right. That was a turning point I think for me and it makes me feel so much better to be myself rather than this feeling of being surrounded by people in the church that just, you know, make you believe that who you are is wrong, inherently. Unfortunately, uh, when I came out to my parents, they asked who did this to me. They assumed that someone had sexually abused me. Well, the sad reality was I had been abused in middle school by my peers um, because I was effeminate, because they thought I was gay, because everything that we were basically taught, that was okay because I was the sinner, you know? And my case they said oh you were sexually abused so that's why you're gay or in actuality i think it's they're putting the cart before the horse i was sexually abused because i was gay and they couldn't seem to separate the two so therefore i thought what was happening to me was deserved it was actually delivered i am female to male transgender I came out when I was 11, which is obviously quite young, but that is when I started going through puberty, which caused an exceptional amount of distress, which I now know as gender dysphoria. I told my parents, who were incredibly supportive. They weren't particularly surprised, but obviously they were quite confused as well. This was a new, huge thing that had just come into our lives. My coming out wasn't the best, I made the decision to tell my parents pretty quickly because that wasn't something that I wanted to hide from them. It's not something that I'm ashamed of. I got kicked out on that day and went to live with friends for a couple of months. I ended up writing my mom a letter and I was so scared to give it to her. My mom wrote me a note and left it in my room. So when I got home from school, I walked up and I saw it on my desk and it was like a cute little yellow card. It said Lexi on it and I opened it and it said, I'll love you no matter what. Discrimination is something that we face on a daily basis. I got bullied at school, you know, people made fun of me. You're more conscious of like what's going on around you, I guess, to kind of avoid that. They get called slurs all the time, just walking down the street, walking to work. Even just downright refusal for access to services, from medical to using a bathroom. I've also been very lucky, I'm very straight passing, so I haven't gotten a lot of discrimination, but it's sad as soon as you take away like the straight passing factor, the amount of times I've seen people have negative things said to them. 
I think the most helpful thing was surrounding myself with people that were like me. They understand what it's like to be different than a lot of people. Because like when you grow up in the church, it is so hard to break away from that mindset because it's been ingrained in you. So finally like coming to terms with myself and undoing just that religious teaching that was so ingrained in me. One of the biggest things that helped me through this journey was my three younger sisters, Nikki, Courtney, and Delaney. My best friend, Gabby. I think music. Music. Music and the community. Writing. Martial arts. Letting go of like the expectations and the labels really helped. I grew up in a place that people were telling me what to do, what to think, what to be. After leaving that community and entering the LGBTQ plus community, I felt that I had to suss out what to take from my past that was actually part of me into the future, and also trying to experience the experiences I was denied from the past. Most of the of those experiences was just interacting with people that were different from me. The society that I came from told me we're not worthy, that told me we were not accepted. And through, I think, all of these experiences of meeting different types of people from all over the world, I'm finally able to piece together who I have been and who I will be. I'm at a point now where everyone in my life supports the community or is a part of it. It's to the point where homophobia and homophobic people, they don't even exist in my brain because I got rid of them. I was like, those people don't exist. And I created a world of my own. At least I'm surrounded by people who support me and believe in me and accept me for me. Not being able to just be comfortable for a while, it was worth it because it taught me a lot about myself. I feel like there's elements of kind of layers that you have to shed to like get to the bottom of like who you actually are. I think it has given me peace in myself, which has been life changing. I would say the most invigorating love that I have felt since becoming part of this community was going to pride. The moment you step out of the train or the car, decked out in rainbow gear, surrounded by millions who have all at one point or another felt the way you felt. The feelings of acceptance and love and pride and we all look so different but we all share one thing in common and that's we love who we love and that was the best moment ever. Welcome to LA Pride in West Hollywood! People are gonna judge you no matter what so mind over matter people who are gonna make it a point of their day to make you feel bad about what you're doing. They don't matter. And the people who matter don't mind.